The Seasons of Arnold's Apple Tree, written by Gail Gibbons. Arnold climbs up high into the branches of the apple tree. He can see far, far away in every direction. This is Arnold's very own secret place. This is Arnold's apple tree. Arnold's tree keeps him very busy all through the year. It is spring. Arnold watches the small buds grow on his apple tree. Some of the buds develop into sweet smelling apple blossoms. Carefully and quietly, Arnold watches bees collect nectar from the blossoms to make honey. Arnold makes a swing for his apple tree. He weaves an apple blossom wreath and hangs it from a branch. Arnold picks an armful of apple blossoms and brings it to his family. They make a flower arrangement together. It is summer. Arnold's apple tree has big green leaves that rustle in the wind. Arnold builds a tree house. His apple tree shades him from the hot summer sun. The green leaves shelter him during a summer shower. Arnold watches small apples begin to grow from where the blossoms used to be. They grow bigger, bigger, and bigger. With some of the big green apples, Arnold does a juggling act for his tree friend. It is fall. Arnold's apple tree now has big, red, tasty apples. The green leaves have turned golden. They drift to the ground. Arnold gathers some of the leaves and brings them up to his tree house to make a soft floor to lie on. Arnold shakes the branches and red apples fall to the ground. He puts them in a basket and takes them home. Arnold and his family make apple pies with apples from Arnold's apple tree. They put the rest of the apples into a cider press and make fresh apple cider. On Halloween day, Arnold decorates some of the biggest apples. They glow in the moonlight under his tree on Halloween night. It is winter. Snow falls. It is quiet. The branches of Arnold's apple tree are bare. Arnold hangs strings of popcorn and berries on them for the winter birds to eat. He builds a snow fort around the bottom of his tree. Arnold builds a snowman to keep him and his tree company during the winter. The snow melts away. It is spring again. The end. This read aloud has been brought to you by Time to Read to Us. Hit the subscribe button for more kid friendly read alouds. Thanks for watching.